Pew yeah. Research says that there are for immigrants on the whole create. Or create Come on, try getting it out. Try getting it out. I'll get it out. I mean, I don't know if you're going to put this on television, but you don't even know what you're talking about. Try getting it out. Who would you rather have negotiate with Iran? Trump or Jeff? Yeah. How about this? Trump or Hillary? How you? And there's never been anybody in the history of politics in this nation that's been so abusive to women. Bill Clinton was abusive to women. Hillary Clinton attacked those same women and attacked them viciously, four of them here tonight. So much of what he's just said is not right, but he gets to run his campaign any way he chooses. This executive order was, was mean-spirited, un-American. I noticed uh, Chuck Schumer yesterday with fake tears. I'm going to ask him who is his acting coach. How was that? Is that a dog? Uh, and one of my biggest critics, a slovenly man named Joe Crowley, got his ass kicked by a young woman who had a lot of energy. And he was going to take Nancy Pelosi's place, and I was so disappointed because I want to keep Nancy Pelosi right where she is with Maxine Waters. I want to keep Nancy Pelosi. Please, I want to make a plea to my Democrat friends. Please, please, please don't remove Nancy Pelosi. She should be where she is. And please keep Maxine Waters on the air as your face and your mouthpiece for the Democrat Party, please. Trump administration officials have been sending babies and other young children. Oh, hold on. They're extremist, open border Democrats. Are you aware of the term anger baby? That's an offensive term. People find that. You mean it's not politically correct and yet everybody uses it? I, so you know what? Give me a different term. Give me a different term. What else would you like to say? That's an offensive term. You want me to say that? Okay, I said, no, I'll use the word anchor baby. Excuse me. I'll use the word anchor baby. North Korea best not make any more threats to the United States. They will be met with fire and fury like the world has never seen. Watch out, Kim Jong-un. Do not test Donald Trump, because if you do, he will rain down fire and fury, the likes of which the world has never seen. Fire and fury. Basically, we've given Donald Trump a big red button that says, do not press, and now we're all sitting around hoping he doesn't press it. Has he truly lost his mind? Did he forget what has been going on? I mean, what is, is he trying to now be diplomatic? He doesn't understand. It doesn't seem like he understands that there are policies in place and that Kim Jong-un is going to say, oh, Oh, he thinks I'm a smart cookie. I think I'll get rid of my nuclear arsenal. You know, I'm just going to write. And that's not true. That's where he's at. <laughs> but that's not true diplomacy. This is an NBC News special report. Reporting from Singapore, here's Lester Holt. Good evening, everyone from Singapore, where it is just before nine in the morning local time and the historic high stakes summit between President Trump and North Korean leader Kim Jong-un is just moments away. We are live in Singapore, where just hours ago we witnessed history made here. President Trump and North Korean leader Kim Jong-un meeting face to face. Hours later, signing an agreement before the world in which Kim Jong-un committed to complete denuclearization of the Korean Peninsula. Bing, bing, bong, bong, bing, bing, bing. You keep calling us the dishonest press, the disgusting well, press. Generally speaking, that's 100% true. And since you're attacking us, can you give us a question? Go since ahead. You're, since no, Mr. President-elect. Go ahead. Mr. President-elect, go ahead. since you are attacking no, our news you. organization, not can you. you give us a chance? Your organization You are terrible. attacking our news organization. Your organization Can you give us a chance Let's to go. ask a question, sir? Go ahead. Sir, can quiet, you stay, can, quiet. Mr. President-elect, go ahead. Can you say She's asking a question. Don't be rude. Mr. President-elect, can you give us a question? Don't be rude. You're attacking us. Can you give us a question? Don't be can no, you I'm not going to give you a question. I'm you, not going to give you a can question. You can you stay categorical? You are fake news. Sir. Round two. Fight. Go ahead. Just one, one more follow Should I let him have a story. little bit more? Well, what do you think, Peter? Yeah. This, Peter, should I have a, let him have a little bit more? This, Sit down. The, Sit down. Just, just, because of the, we'll get just because of the attack of fake news and, and uh, attacking our network, I, I just want to ask you, sir. I'm changing it from fake news, though. Do, doesn't that under... Very fake news. I know, but aren't you... Flawless victory. 
Donald Trump is a jerk. A few years ago, ideas that we talked about were thought to be fringe ideas, radical ideas, extremist ideas. Those ideas are now mainstream. I, I, I just don't even know why there aren't uprisings all over the country. And if you see anybody from that cabinet in a restaurant, in a department store, at a gasoline station, you get out and you create a crowd. And you push back on them. And you tell them they're not welcome. Do something about your dad's immigration practices, you feckless What's Uncle Tom but for white women who disappoint other white women? One way you get rid of Trump is a crashing economy, so please bring on the recession. When was the last time an actor assassinated a president? I have thought an awful lot about blowing up the White House. It has been said that the Republican Party's testicles just dropped. That wasn't an Infowars.com ad you just saw. That was officially put out by the Republican Party. Ladies and gentlemen, they're finally getting the fact that the globalists are trying to start a violent revolution in this country and overthrow it and bring it down just like Venezuela and so many others that have fallen to socialism and communism. The globalists recognize that InfoWars has been on the very front lines of this global awakening. And they don't want us to be there as this fight intensifies to continue to rally free humans all over the planet against this diabolical globalist program. That's why it's more critical than ever that you understand that we are not supported by George Soros or any big banks or any big corporations. We are supported by you, the viewers, and the listeners that buy the products at in InfoWarsStore.com. We need to be reprovisioned in this fight. We need to be able to fund our operation. And we make it easy with products like Super Blue, fluoride-free toothpaste, mouthwash, immune gargle, and so much more, fortified with colloidal silver, fortified with the highest quality iodine, fortified with natural essential oils and more. You help your teeth, you help your body, you help your gums, you help your country, you help your planet through free market, free association. The products are 50% off right now going through our super sale that we're going to have on July 4th. Infowarsstore.com, Infowarslife.com. This is where you finance the second American Revolution with the United States now attempting to stop the global government empire, attempting to take back control of our destiny on a global scale.